Okay, we had a game here. Uh, this guy, level 88, asked for Brutal plus 6, so I invited him and I was like, he's uh, not even at 90, not even at full mastery, so he probably needs some carrying. And that's why I chose Statman, although, and I saw Stuke of Statman, my primary concern was that it will be a pretty laggy, especially because uh, of the mutators that add to the lag and power overwhelming can be laggy, so, um, okay, so we had power overwhelming, black death, we move and seen, and magnificent, I'm glad I chose Statman, because with uh, any other commander I think I would have a <coughs> pretty hard time. Okay, this was conversation we chose, I mean, we uh, rolled first time, but rolled uh, heroes on Skyt of Aemon, no, uh, minor evacuation, and I was like, well, this is not brutal plus six because heroes don't spawn, so let's uh, let's uh, play. It's not really a challenge, let's play real brutal plus six. Okay, so, <coughs> I'm glad that I chose this commander because we move and scene and uh, black dead and the mines, that's pretty toxic combination because uh, everything is clogged and you can see on the minimap that you cannot, uh, there is nothing, so, uh, yeah, well, I didn't understand right away, so I, uh, <laughs> I explained him, uh, okay, uh, and you can see that it's nothing on the minimap, usually there are red dots where the mines are, so that's the indicator that mines are also uh, invisible, so if you get uh, this combination of uh, mutators, expect the invisible mines, and also we like power overwhelming plus black death, that's a lot of annoyance, so this kind of Mutations can actually be more annoying than if you have two or three mutators where one of them is very strong like uh, Heroes from the storm or void rifts. Okay, void rifts would be a uh, pretty bad if I was statman Void rifts was definitely be a, a big nuisance, but uh, Heroes not so much Or boom bots. I hate boom bots So uh, you can see that mines are here, but they need to be detected. Okay, Eli did uh, go for Overseer first, that's good. Now for Eli it's problematic that his Overseers will, uh, well, die <laughs> if they get affected. Well, I try to keep Gary healthy as long as possible, because now I don't have Zerglings yet, and now I, I'll need Blue Zone for more mining now, so uh, that was going zergling now it's hard to uh, I mean make the making that decision is kind of painful especially when your ally is too because now zerglings are very laggy because they have these uh, constant energy changes they uh, absorb shots so they their energy changes constantly and you have a lot of them it can become really laggy as you can see these guys defense bots <coughs> that carry parts all also can be infected Okay, now go here. Okay, this time I was actually pulled by uh, ab Gary got abducted into the unit, so they died close, and now Gary is finally affected. Now, even though Super Gary is 2000 HP, you can see that these guys are blocking, these PDDs are blocking my uh, attacks. So I was like, okay, I was probably muckering at this time. So, usually, normally, a uh, unit uh, has, uh, unit can outheal a plague in green zone, if it's, if it's under 800 HP, okay, uh, Gary has uh, self-healing, so it would be a little bit more than 800, but Super Gary has 2000, uh, and still can survive in, uh, uh, well, while infected, but you need to constantly overcharge, and also dying zerglings, pump Gary with best oil which also helps to regenerate health so that's one thing so I now have all upgrades and that's really good in tanking mines and other damage it's harder to dodge the mines when you kind of don't see them initially where they are 
uh, and when they're traveling, if Gary is not in the detection range. Okay, so I was like, uh, bonus is gone. Collecting here. My ally, by the way, is stacking up. It's already here, already on the plus two, plus three, which is uh, pretty, pretty good actually at this point. So he was. Uh, he was prioritizing tech over here. It's incredible actually how he managed to uh, in the start production get to get this so early. I was like, okay, maybe we can even do the bonus. I teleport here. There is Apocalypse. And of the own infestation and bonus actually goes down. That was pretty good. Pretty good. There'll be more points. I, I don't care about uh, experience points because I have I'm level 1000, maxed out for years. But uh, allies, he doesn't even have a. He isn't even fully mastered. So it's uh, good to have more experience points. Getting from the bonus. And yeah. Gary is infected, Zerglings don't care, they out heal easily because they only have 35 HP. Hey, help your so Zergling can tank at 4 shots because uh, it, uh, each uh, time receives uh, damage, it only receives 10 damage because it's uh, at uh, the hardened and energy shield. But it drains 5 energy periods, which is okay because it has 50 energy, so it doesn't even need a lot of charging. And uh, <coughs> this is bugged, it, do it doesn't drain any energy, and it's good because otherwise it would be even more, even a lot more lag actually. So uh, I'm glad this is bugged. And if I were Blizzard, I would never fix that bug. That, that's. Uh, it's laggy enough even without that. Okay, so you see that Gary is now pretty low, but it's regenerating because of constantly <coughs> getting this shield from the overcharge. So, <coughs> guys, that's one thing. That's one thing uh, that you should always, not, not just uh, when you have like that, but I see a lot of people forgetting to overcharge the the statue and it's pretty important to keep your army alive to uh, keep your allies army alive and uh, also to keep your stat alive because that cannot be it's invincible it's in uh, invulnerable when it's overcharged so that's also thing so you can see I overcharge and now even if mine hits uh, satellite it will remain Standing. That's especially important with best body, of course, because you lose the zone. If you don't have Gary zone at the time, then you're kind of fucked. Especially if you use Gary zone and then go somewhere not far away from your normal stat zone, and then you lose Gary zone. It, it expires, and then you're like stranded in no man's land. By the way, Ella is doing pretty fine. He has a lot of bunkers now. He's making all of them over here, which is okay. And I, I usually spread them around, but okay. You can see how Zerglings can tank, and that's pretty good. Okay, there's a Lurker there. I'm glad the enemy was ground Zerg. And Ella is the getting now the last upgrade. Which uh, is pretty okay. I mean, he got this, uh, he, he really prioritized this. He has a volatile infested sponge's mastery. You can see that some of these civilians are volatile. I usually use uh, uh, the structure infestation because it's nice to have it every 45 seconds. That's a lot of infestations. Okay, it, uh, you don't have this volatile infested. And from compound, it also Alexander doesn't produce them, but for me, it's kind of better okay the biggest his biggest problem is uh, that a lot of these guys just die without yeah he had to my micro these uh, 
we lost another one, well yeah that's uh, that's the problem, his dudes are doing nothing except killing structures now and there when uh, has no detection, so yeah it's pretty annoying, otherwise Tuko would be really good, great against this like free mine clearing, free because of free units of course, Black that doesn't do much because they are time units, they die anyways. Uh, and power overwhelming is a little bit more a nuisance, but it's good for constant streaming of units, it's good for draining Emma's energy. But the thing is that we move unseen, is kind of plaguing him because he always needs to have an observer, and observers can die to plague and to enemies. So, uh, okay, here helps with Apocalypse with uh, this train. So, this thing. Yeah, everything is cloaked. Even the hybrid is cloaked. There are some mission objectives that are not... Wait, are the hybrid, hybrid? I forgot. I think they are. Yeah, hybrid should be here. Okay, but I need to I need to defend over here. Uh, Gary is dangerously low. Need to overcharge immediately. Okay, uh, Psy Orbs are a little, little bit annoying because they do damage uh, uh, over time. So, the energy shield doesn't provide help against them. But then again, if Zerglings die, they will just uh, pump Gary. See, that is like uh, as best oil. Okay, it's just uh, sad that it cannot be seen how much I actually have, how many stacks. Okay, now yeah, overseer is here, but unfortunately it's infected. But it, if it doesn't get attacked, it will. Hold. Oh, that was unfortunate. Now it got fungled. <laughs> okay, but I think it will hold just <coughs> until hybrid is done. Alexander is here. Okay, we have uh, a. <coughs> the bunkers for Ella. It's actually a lot harder game than for me because I am a moving. My primary concern is to always overcharge. And of course, not to lose Gary, not to be overzealous, too aggressive or something. See, the mines also carry the plague. You can see that these two mines are infected. When they hit, they will also transmit the the plague. By the way, uh, if you didn't know, power overwhelming is one thing that uh, makes spells that usually don't hit heroic units. Uh, and even map bosses they, they do, you see abducts normally, abducts cannot, vipers cannot abduct uh, super Gary, but uh, now every unit can use abduct and it can be abducted and also some other spells. Okay, so well actually, good thing that it was Zerg so he, he doesn't have to come go there. Okay, I was like let's first fight these guys and then I'll defend. Because I'm already here, overcharged, and well, let's kill these guys. <coughs> Zerglings need a lot of time to kill. Yeah, I'm, I didn't. St okay, I did start it. It's not finished. Three, three. Okay, now I go here. Don't have second. Oh, I do now, but I don't have overcharged, so I'm backing away. <coughs> And it's good. Ella in the meantime is uh, Pamia, his uh, <laughs> overseers keep getting infected, but okay, they are not so uh, expensive. 100, 100, he's not uh, spending uh, resources uh, on anything else than on uh, bunkers and upgrades. Upgrades are done now, compound upgrade all done. And okay, there is unfortunately one single. Uh, dude spawned by uh, oh no there is the, those ones dies yeah I lost a lot of zerglings but I don't care that's one dude over here spawned by uh, infestor you know, infested terran but it cannot kill anything fast and it cannot kill my workers at all because it doesn't have the dps the green zone on heals so like who cares But I did, uh, eventually I think I did kill it with, uh, 
Oh no, I didn't. It's here. <laughs> This does nothing. Well, I happily regenerate. You can see that the Super Gary now it drops. <coughs> well, that's a GG, and indeed, there is nothing can go wrong anymore. Well, it can, I can lose Gary, but uh, that probably won't happen against Ground Zerg. It would, if it would be Scourge, then it would be more dangerous for me. Okay, I did make uh, actually uh, this uh, <coughs> thing because I was annoyed with constant warning. Okay, your drones are under attack. Uh, okay, so uh, now we're fighting here. And Ally has Alexander. I think he had a Alexander Master. I'm not sure actually. <coughs> Everything is plagued, but we don't care. And... This hybrid, hybrid is... Uh, and there are some corruptors here, I didn't realize that Ellen needs detection. Okay, now hybrid will die. Okay, so that was it. Uh, Yeah, Statman is so uh, Statman is so good. Uh, this kind of stuff, you know, tanking, uh, healing, providing detection. So, yeah, that's why Statman is the strongest commander in the game. Overall, the best in most cases. Let's see the overlay. Okay, here we go. So I was expecting to be needing to carry more, but I, I actually did uh, help with both bonuses here, collect, even collected a few more parts, which you cannot see here, but he did uh, collect a few more parts, and uh, here I did have 45% kills, so almost even. Uh, well, turn first as punches, Alexander cooldown, see, he doesn't have uh, all masteries, but I was right, Alexander cooldown, and infested infantry duration, so... Uh, pretty good <coughs> 36 bunker so he was maxed and uh, <coughs> yeah so he doesn't have a lot of APM but uh, okay good thing for Stukovic he just has to send dudes where they need to go and then uh, uh, micro his overseers which he did he probably lo lost like at least four or five of them but it's okay and he was really fast on upgrades which is good. Didn't make any of the advanced units. I mean, siege tanks could be good against the ground zerg, but uh, then he would have to uh, keep them safe, you know, from plague, which is uh, well, green zone would heal them, but I was uh, green zone was not always available because I was spreading where I needed, so I had to pay attention to my side because of all these mines and stuff are overwhelming so uh, yeah it's pretty good he just uh, went for uh, bunkers went for uh, and uh, normal Lord of the Horde play with just messing uh, bunkers messing infested troopers and moving around overseers so he can actually see enemies and kill them which is pretty good Alexander cooldown infested infantry duration yeah that's uh, normal Master, I don't think it's actually okay that he did use volatile infested spawn chance over here. Because uh, structural overcharge is uh, limited, uh, also limited uh, uh, use here. They can also just attack in the detection range. So, uh, okay. And Alexander is with Alexander Master. He has more Alexander and it's, it spawns also uh, volatile infested. So it's much more effective. Okay. So that's it, uh, pretty nice game, I didn't have to carry so much and it was pretty easy and I was uh, <coughs> trying to record but I uh, forgot to unpause, which is uh, which I'm glad because now there was no lag and it was considerable lag, uh, late game, uh, even less lag actually than I was expecting because uh, in these two commanders plus the mutators can be really really bad. Okay, 
thanks for uh, watching like and subscribe if you like it support me on patreon if you wish and need help and uh, thanks again see you guys